Hello everybody, I wish everything is fine. Today we'll talk a new, uh, about new tool called Ident and Sim. And this is one of the tools in SMS or Sequence Manipulation Suite. And this very important tool because this tool uh, simply can calculate uh, the identity and similarity of each sequence pair in your multiple alignment, multiple sequence alignment. But the question is why we identify, try to identify the similarity and identity values, why it's important. Uh, it's important, of course, if you would like to know if whether these two sequences share common ancestor or have similar function, they will have, uh, of course, uh, a lot of uh, identity and high similarity. So that's why uh, identity and similarity values are very important. Uh, but the question now, we have to know what the difference between these two terms, between the identity and similarity. When you look at the DNA, it's apparently there is no big difference between similarity and identity. If the sequence is 100% identity, it will be almost also 100% similarity. If it's 90% identity, it will be also 90% similarity. So identity and similarity in the DNA usually uh, have the same uh, meaning. And it simply can be calculated uh, by this formula if uh, the two sequences are in equal lengths. But if the sequences are in different lengths, it can be calculated by this formula. But the question is, in protein, why it's different? In protein, it's different because identity doesn't mean similarity. Uh, simply, if you look at the sequence 3 and 4, simply you can see that the identity is 80% identity but 100% similarity. And that's why, because there is a lot of uh, amino acids which may be not identical like A, a and G or D and E, they are not uh, identical but they are similar in their uh, characteristics. Uh, and to, to understand this, we have to look at this figure. Simply, you can see that amino acid A and amino acid G is neutral and nonpolar. And this means they are, uh, maybe they are not identical, but they are similar in their uh, uh, characters. So that's why we can say they are 80% identical. They are not identical, but they are 100% similar. D and the amino acid D and amino acid E, they are negative charge and acidic polar. The amino acid K and R, they are positive charge and basic polar. And T and S, a neutral and polar. So the point is, they may be amino acid. They are not identical, but they are similar in the uh, their characteristics. So that's why that's why we can say that they are 80% identical, but 100% similar. There is another example here, the 80% 80 identity and 90% similarity. So the point is, in, in DNA, always similarity and identity usually have the same meaning. There is no big difference, but if you look at the protein, always there is a difference between uh, identity and similarity. They have different meaning. So in our program today, Ident and Sim, this program actually accept your aligned sequence in FASTA format or GDE format. You can just copy and paste your sequence here uh, and simply in this submission box and uh, you can press submit. Simply the, the program will calculate the, the percent of the similarity and identity uh, and the number of residues between if each and every sequence of this aligned, uh, this aligned uh, multiple sequence. So, for example, the, the, this example we have three multiple, three sequences aligned together. Now we can see uh, how much identity and how much similarity between each uh, one of these sequences and the others. So, this information very useful, as we said, uh, to discover for example similar function or common ancestor between uh, sequences. So I hope this tool can be helpful for you and um, try to follow us uh, and to see more tools useful in bioinformatics that could be useful in your experiment. And thank you for listening and hope to see you 
for more videos. Thanks a lot.